Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon, and today, instead of fancy fountain pen paper, I thought I would try some regular old notebook paper with my fountain pens and see how the paper holds up. Uh, this was what was left at my local store. Uh, school is back mostly in the U.S., and so a lot of the supplies were gone, but these were on clearance, so that was even better for me. I picked up this half composition book, which I think is actually pretty cool. I would love to see this in a college ruled. This one is wide ruled. Uh, but I, I like smaller notebooks being oriented this way. I think they're a little bit easier to write in, a little bit more on the handy side. I picked up a pen and gear, or pen gear. I mean, I mostly just say pen gear, but it is like a little plus right there. Pen gear, notebook. This is a heavyweight paper. This is wide ruled. That's what they had left. I have a Mead five star college ruled. This is also supposed to be heavyweight paper. And an Exceed, also heavyweight paper. This one is college ruled. And the papers all look quite different to me, so I'm looking forward to seeing which one holds up better with my fountain pens. So I think to start, I'm just going to start with the little composition book. I think it's so cute. And just see how badly the pens bleed. So for testing, I have my Kilk Camera Laterna, my Relic Pens Thomas Jefferson pen, and my Pilot Vanishing Point. And three different inks, so that'll help a little bit in variety. Uh, to start, I think I'm actually going to swab. So I'm going to swab... Dark Matter, Newler's Dark Matter. It's the ink I pretty much use the most of. Just see how this holds up to kind of a little bit of agitation. So there's really not much bleed through. Have a little bit here. I'm just gonna let that dry a little bit more. And the camera Laterna has the dark matter in it today, so that's what I'm gonna start with. I have to admit, there really isn't any feathering. I think the actual writing shows up very well. That's a medium nib, a medium steel nib on the camera Laterna. As far as how the paper held up, I mean, there's a little bit of bleed through on that initial swab. I mean, I was digging into the paper here. No bleed through on the writing. That's kind of cool. I think I'll continue with, this is Noodler's Rome Burning. A little bit more aggressive that time. And I mean, you could say there was a little bit of bleed through if you wanted, but I mean, that's incredibly minimal in my opinion. I also have Raven Black in the Pilot Vanishing Point, and this is a medium nib.
And the Raven Black is from Noodlers. It's a Canadian exclusive. Wow, that actually did really well. I've, I fully expected for that to have some bleed through because that pen lays down a lot of ink and that's a nice wet ink. Okay, well that just proves you don't have to have super fancy expensive paper to write with fountain pens. I'm going to move on to the more fancy writing paper, which I mean, let's face it, it's not really that fancy, but I'm going to go a couple of sheets from the back so that if it does present any bleed through, I'll be able to see it. This is the Mead Five Star Notebook. Well, if I can spell. My wrist is a little done right now, so if you see me making a lot of mistakes, it's I've been quilting for quite a few quite a few days in a row, almost nonstop. So my wrist is kind of just done. Haven't been able to get much writing done, but I thought this would be fun to do. And it's nice to know like what notebook if I just need kind of an everyday notebook, which one would be better to grab for future. This one I think is actually running out of ink a little bit. So these are all medium nibs. Steel and two steel and one gold. All right, so I'm seeing a little bit of bleed through on the vanishing point right up there. Not so much with the other two pens or inks. Go ahead and swap the dark matter. It's definitely not liking this paper as much as it did in the composition book. Hmm. Oh, but it really didn't bleed through. I mean, a little teeny bit. Definitely warped. The writing looks pretty good. I mean, I would use this. All right, so that is the five star paper. I'm just gonna set this aside for now and go to the Ben Gear. And yeah, I'm gonna go to the back. This feels a little bit thicker, a little smoother in texture. Yeah, that's one sheet, that's a lot thicker. Feels smoother too. That 
felt a lot smoother overall. Feels good with that too. a lot heftier. And the ink is liking going down a little bit better. Got some sitting on top. As far as the writing goes, I think it looks really good. It felt really good to write on. Ink looks a little happier. Try to flip it over without making a mess. Less ghosting. Definitely had bleed through, but that was quite a bit of ink. It's still wet. It looks pretty good. And last but not least, the Ixeed paper. And somehow I got covered in ink. <laughs> Shocker. Alright, this paper feels like an in-between weight, in between the five star and the pen gear. has a little bit more texture to it but the ink is going down really well I like the way it feels it seems to like the pens better This feels like it's absorbing a lot more of the ink. Doesn't quite it quite like it quite as much as the pen gear paper. But as far as writing experience goes, this and the pen gear are my favorites. I think if I were to just pick something up, I would probably choose the Exceed paper. 
that's just from my finger because I really liked writing on that it felt really good I liked the line width too if I had a college ruled in the pen gear I might like it even more so but this one was my favorite one to write with especially with the vanishing point seem to really like it quite a bit all right so quick comparison the mead five star was the most expensive and this definitely has the thinnest paper was the least pleasurable to write on uh, but I mean it looks fine there's really no insane feathering or anything so if that's your jam pretty good choice uh, the exceed paper was like I said an in-between weight so for sure the five star was the thinnest the exceed <laughs> exceed paper uh, in between that and the pen gear so definitely the thinnest liked it okay seed paper is a little thicker I liked that a lot and the pen gear I think that's the closest to like a fountain pen paper writing experience out of all three of these and of course the composition book was the pen gear paper as well and that held up really well in my opinion I liked writing on it so kind of cool I honestly I haven't tried regular notebook paper with my fountain pens in a long time so this is kind of enlightening to me uh, the knowledge that I could totally write in just a regular old spiral bound notebook very easily with my fountain pens is that's really nice so I think what I'm gonna do just really quick just kind of as a bonus is uh, just swab a little bit of a shimmer ink on these three and just see how that goes so I have my Roaring Patina Black. I'm intrigued to see how the shimmer might show up. If it's going to be more or less. And I'm going to try to do this in the same frame. I don't know if this is going to work, but... So you can kind of see them drying at the same speed. I'll stick it up in the corner. See if I can pull that down just a little bit. Oh wow, that dried so fast. Goodness. That was a little surprising. Okay. Okay, so the shimmer on the five star notebook paper, it dried like super, super fast and the shimmer looks fantastic. The Exceed dried fairly quickly as well, and the shimmer shows up really, really well. And I'm just waiting on the pen gear paper. Like I said, this one definitely reminds me more of like a Tome Away paper. It's just kind of lean in that way. Whereas these two remind me a little bit more of a Claire Fontaine. Yeah, I'd say the shimmer definitely shows up the best on the five star. Not too bad on the exceed, it's a little duller. And this is still drying. But it looks good. I'm just gonna give it a minute or so and come back. All right, so it's been a few minutes and it's still actually on the wet side shimmer to show up but the shimmer does show up well uh, it just takes longer to dry so it does remind me more of like a tome away river paper these dried almost immediately the five star I think still shows up the best and the exceed is not far behind so I'm impressed for notebook paper this is pretty cool yeah so anyway if you're looking for more of a Tomaway River feel, a little bit smoother, 
uh, versus maybe a little bit more texture and then just really thin. Uh, really neat little example here. I don't know, I'm fascinated by this and I actually am I'm loving these colors together. I think that looks really cool and it totally matches the Roaring Patina Black. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Do you have a favorite, like, on the cheaper end notebook that you use for your fountain pen writing? I would personally love to know and maybe even get to try it out. So let me know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching.